previously on I am officially on the hunt for an apartment. Now I do have a few apartments on my list. As quiet as it is kept, I've been on about two or three tours. I'm, I'm waiting to hear something back. So my official like hot spot is definitely downtown. Downtown is like a hot spot for me because for one, of course, it's the heart of Jacksonville. So you're right in the middle. Hey besties, what's up? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I am Ryan for real. And if you are new to this channel, I ask that you subscribe before you leave. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. Besties, y'all read the title. It's so hard to say goodbye. Yes, y'all, today is the day I will be moving out of my parents' house. I'm God, I'm free. So right now I'm just packing. It looks crazy in here, it looks a mess. I have to keep coming back because I do not have the truck for long that I need to carry like my bed and all the heavy um, items like the tables, etc. I really don't have that much. I'm basically starting everything from scratch. So most of it is like my clothes, my shoes, and you know. All right you guys, so let me finish doing what I'm doing and I will see y'all at the new place. It is official. I officially moved into my downtown apartment and I am so happy. Like I was just crying a little earlier. I, I hope y'all my eyes don't look too puffy, but I was just crying a little earlier because it is like the perfect space for me. When I tell y'all this is the perfect space for me, it is slightly off the river and I have a great view on my back patio of the downtown buildings because I am on the fifth floor and I'm just, ah! I'm just showing you guys how everything look before the furniture is put into the apartment, which is gonna take a while. I'm not going to jump in with the furniture content because like I told y'all earlier, I'm starting everything from scratch. I have absolutely no furniture. The only furniture I have is my bed. And um, we're gonna be working, you know, step by step and taking our time with getting the apartment furnished with help from my sister, of course. But without further ado, let's go. There's the front door. When you come in the front door over here to the right is the kitchen. Now I know y'all see white appliances. And it has a white refrigerator. I was like, oh, oh, not a white refrigerator. So a bit of a story time. So this apartment has a private owner. The apartment was supposed to come with a black refrigerator as well as a black oven. However, this unit did not have it. So I negotiated a new price for my rent and trust and believe, honey, she got it done. So anyway, I have countertop space. Oven is right here. It actually don't look bad. It's been a long time since I've seen a white stove, but it doesn't look bad. And I made sure I stay on top of the maintenance on this just to keep it nice and clean and shiny. Here's some more of the countertop space. I love the color of the cabinets. Check it out. So of course, here's the fridge. You don't really need any introduction. But it's nice and clean even though I'm going to go over it again myself. The fridge. We have the sink here. It's a pretty deep sink. More countertop space. I'm sure I have the microwave somewhere in this area. And of course more of the cabinets. And coming out of the kitchen this is what appears to be the dining area. 
But it is so hard, y'all excuse all that stuff. But it's so hard because I'm confused because of this long wall. <laughs> Look at this area. It's crazy. So this is supposed to be like the living room area, but I'm not too sure if I want to even have this as a living room because say if I want to mount my TV up here, you got this eyesore because of the thermostat. And then say if I want to move it over here, which it appears that the TV is supposed to go here. Then I want to put my couch here, my room right here. It's just, it's a lot. So I'm having Sharika to come over to figure it out for me um, because this is a lot of space. Like look at that walkway, seriously. I just don't know. Let's get into the light fixtures. These are all throughout the apartment. To change it out, all I gotta do is screw that middle part out and change the light bulbs if I need to. I am uber excited about my new space. It is just right for me. But we have to figure this thing out. Oh, I didn't even show y'all this area. Like, <laughs> so I was thinking maybe I could do the living room in this area, mount the TV up there, but boom. I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. Y'all excuse the jazz picture. I love this picture so much. This I had this picture forever. And um, I might put it in the kitchen, I don't know. And over here to the next right is the bathroom. First of all, let's, let's get into the shower. I absolutely love the shower wall. Like this is really one of the highlights of this apartment um, that I really enjoy. The guy just cleaned and filtered out the vent. So this right here, it just started making noise. Here is my sink. Right. Boom, boom, boom. The mirror, I requested that they actually have this mirror removed. Um, I'm not feeling it, it's getting very much old school. You can come in. And um, yeah, that's that. So here's the mirror. And then from the bathroom, you walk straight into the bedroom. You want some light. All right, so this is the bedroom. Now I'm assuming in this area, this is where the entertainment is supposed to be. But I kind of want my bed over this wall detail right there. You see that, y'all? And I really want to put like some lights under here to give it like a nice fluorescent over my bed, just give it a nice sexy vibe. But let me stand over here in the corner so y'all can see. Hardwood floors. But yeah, so I guess I'm gonna decide if I wanna have my bed on this side or on this side, but we'll figure it out. Now the room is pretty big in my opinion. It has like a mini hallway right here um, from the bedroom to the bathroom. Right here on the right, it has a washer and dryer hookup. I highly doubt that I would be having a stackable washer, washer and dryer um, anytime soon, so I'll probably use this as like some storage space. And on my left, we have the closet. This is my mirror from the house. And this stand here is to make sure that the rack has enough support just in case I fill her up with my clothes. Y'all know I have a lot of clothes, so this is perfect. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of was hot in my face from y'all because it's so hot and I've been ripping and running all day in the sun. Right now it is actually raining. What time is it? It is 317, it is raining right now and I'm waiting for Sharika to come so she can help me figure out the living room situation because I'm a little discombobulated with the living room. It is such a long and huge space and it's a lot of things on the wall such as like the, um, the power, box, the power box, and it's another area where I was thinking about having a TV, but that has the thermostat, and it's just a lot. Y'all see it in a minute, because right now I have my bed and things in this. I'm actually gonna move that out of the way, bring that in the room. It is what it is, y'all. I was so Before I start putting things up, I 
really want to do a deep clean. So what I did was before I came to the apartment, I actually stopped at Dollar Tree and uh, where else did I stop y'all? Oh, I stopped at Rose's just to pick up some items to deep clean. Let me show y'all what I have. So of course I had to find me a trash can. Y'all, I thought about putting a trash can in my um, house warming um, registry, but it's like $20 on Amazon. I'm like, why? <laughs> To grab some bleach because I'm planning on doing a lot of deep cleaning. I have some oven cleaner because of course we have the white oven so we want to make sure we're on top of that. I have some comment for the bathroom. Window cleaner. Awesome cleaner with bleach. Trash bags. This washing detergent. Got the little soap for the floor. Some toilet pipe sponges for the cleaning. Glade. Right here, these are my favorite. This is the clean linen. I am obsessed with clean linen. It smells, it smells so fresh and so good. A mop, toilet bowl scrubber, some gloves, a broom, and this is a pole for the mop. So you guys, remember when I was telling y'all how I was confused about how I would set up everything? So I hired an interior designer. She's here. There she is. No, okay. so basically what you need to do is decide how you want to separate it. And then that is how you will, and that's all about how you position your furniture. So like, say like if you want this to be the living room. Which I think this should be the living room. Yeah, it, it'll make more sense. Right, but then um, what, what I'm going to do with all of that? Yeah, because you wouldn't need all of this area to be a dining room because it's just you. Exactly. I think... I was thinking, well, maybe one of these, like this threshold right there, that can be like my content area, or maybe even like my sit down area, like a, a office. I don't know, you know? Yeah, once we start putting the, the furniture in, then we can kind of, you know, connect it that way. Because we, we have to get the pieces in here first. Yeah. Mm. So my TV coming Tuesday. Chris bought me on my TV. I wanted to get it mounted. But I'm like, With I was thinking this would be more logical, but boom. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's what I was telling y'all about earlier, the power box. Mm -hmm. But then it's like, okay, what well, if yeah. I put it over here? Yeah, yeah I thought that's like on 69. <laughs> <laughs> then I was like, okay, what well, if the couch was here? Then I was like, dang, I might want a bar right here. I'm confused. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going to figure it out. Yeah, it is a lot of space. Y'all see all that? Yeah, it's a lot of space. It really, is. it really is. You got room for a huge couch if that's what you wanted to do. Yeah, I probably definitely. But see, that's what I said. See, I mean, this part will also make sense for it to be the living room because you got your um, what's this thing? Called? The um, patio. The patio right here. So that's another thing. <laughs> yeah. All this space. You figure it out. Let's go to the bedroom. To the bedroom. <laughs> this is where the magic happens. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, you said you don't put the bed on the I really want to endow. I wanted to get like the fluorescent lights. You know, okay. something to give it like a sexy vibe and mm -hmm. then have the TV over here. Mm -hmm. But you see, obviously, the entertainment center was right here before because that's how they have it set mm -hmm. and then the bed. But I really want to put the bed over there. So the room is pretty big as well. Yeah, it is. Then you have the walk-in closet. I already showed y'all this, so I'm just showing my I said it too, just not impressive. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the closet. Mm -hmm. And then the washing machine and dryer. Enough space to hide somebody if somebody else wants to oh, so <laughs> This ain't no damn hole out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming to change the mirror and they're gonna scrub that sign off. He's gonna change the mirror today? I don't know if he's gonna change the mirror today. I, to be honest, I really wanna get my own mirror and yeah, put it out there. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say, you should just get your own mirror. But that's gonna you be later. something bigger. Yeah. When I get rid of them. Oh, I didn't even know that. Oh! Uh. Yo, the show have a light. 
Shrieker done found the light. <laughs> and I wanted to take this down too. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's a way that they can disconnect the exhaust fan from the light so that that noise don't come on every time you have to turn your light on. Yeah. If so, I'd probably just put my, I know it's a little banjo. Turn that right, turn that one on. Oh no, that's just like yeah. entry, entrance light radio. Yeah. I'd probably just put my studio lights in when I'm filming. Just so it won't be so annoying. You know. <laughs> you know, I love a good shower. Okay? Yes. I love a pretty shower. So nice. And I want to get like the little, um, the tears to put. So I have like my soap and the essentials and stuff. I have in my cart. I don't know if I wanted to put it in my own registry or not. But um, it's a shower head. It's a black one, a nice big black one that I want to put in. That's really going to set it off. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then the shower curtain. Mm -hmm. But he just working. changed this. Besties, it has been a very long day. Right now it's 8.49. I just got in from Walmart to grab me a couple of groceries. Um, just some little knick-knack, pedowax, give a dog a bone. Oh, I hope y'all see my boots. But anyway, I'm just gonna sit y'all right there. Hopefully y'all can still see me. I just have a few things, you know, to make sure that I'm straight. Let me show y'all what I have really quick. I have the spinach and spring mix salad, cheddar cheese, butter, elastic pickles, keto bread, Brussels sprouts, onion, lemon, garlic clove, bell pepper, asparagus, cauliflower, collard greens, keto classic fried chicken mix, feta cheese stuffed olives, spicy jerk, ribeye steak, ribs, short ribs, shrimp, crawfish, eggs, Sausage, uncured turkey bacon, mushroom, olive oil, Sprite Zero, Canada Dry Zero. All I'm thinking about is a bath right now. I'm about to put all these groceries up. I'm still not finished shopping. I have a lot more stuff to get tomorrow, like chicken and um, some pork chops, etc., etc. I'm gonna get that from the meat market. But um, like I said, the only thing I'm thinking about right now is washing my body and getting into bed. We're gonna wake up in the morning and we're going to clean up this whole entire apartment. So I hope y'all ready to help. So grab them gloves. I see y'all in the morning.